How was your day? Susie, why do my teachers have to give me so much homework? And why does the college board have to be so freaking evil? They make these APs and the ACT so confusing. And to top it off, college is extremely, extremely expensive. Like college debt is a huge problem right now. So my day's not well tonight. I'm super stressed out. Yeah, I get that. But do you want a ride? Uh, no, I got my own ride. Oh. Okay. See ya. I guess he's stressed out. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard. I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words. I wish I found some chords in an order that is new. I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang. I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink But now I'm insecure and I care what people think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think Wish we could turn back time To the good old days When the mama sang us to sing Many of the things happening today were either developing or already going on. Well, what I mean to the good old days is something like the 50s. Born through a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and they began to wait. The band was jumping and the drum began to swing. You should have heard the locked out jailbird sing that rock. Everybody let rock. To me, the 50s sound like a lot of fun, man. Well, first of all, you know how many white artists stole the music from black artists back in the 50s? And they didn't even give them credit for it. Like, there were too many. Oh, I, I didn't know that. And also, there were so many problems in the 50s. For starters, the Cold War became a thing. There was a Korean War and I mean, I could just go on and on. It was just so many ten world tensions. People feared a nuclear war, just, just to give you a feel of it. But I bet the 60s were better. Uh, not really. I mean, kind of. How about the 70s? Uh, yeah, I mean, we opened trade with China. The 80s? Those times were better, but that does not eliminate what was going on during those times. Like what was going on? There's something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware Stop, children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down There's battle lines being drawn And nobody's right if everybody's wrong the Young people speak in their minds Getting so much resistance 
People protesting the war? Society had many issues and the reactions to wars like the one in Vietnam created a credibility gap between the government and the people, which was something that the United States hasn't have hadn't seen to that point. Just for the war, I mean how bad was it? Daniel, it never matters how severe a war is. It's always bad. Nothing beneficial for everyone that comes to Kiss me goodbye and write me while I'm gone. Goodbye, my sweetheart. Hello, Vietnam. One, two, yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Uh -huh. I mean, at least it was just Vietnam. No, Vietnam wasn't the only one. There were more proxy wars throughout this time. Uh, I mean, like the one that happened in Afghanistan, which ended up creating the Taliban, if you didn't know already. Well, no, uh, this is too, too much for me, man. I, I, now I understand why there's such a big credibility gap going on with people and the government, because there's so much confusion if you're actually doing good in this country. To me, Anthony, it sounds like everybody just wants to Everybody wants to rule the world economically, politically, militarily. That's just how the world is. People fighting for power. That's why there's so much conflict. That's just the ugly truth. I wish you never taught me this, man. I was already stressed out with college and the present day problems. But now you're telling me that most of these problems are linked to what happened to what I consider the good old days. I was happy at least not knowing this ugly truth. Better time. That's called being ignorant. Well, I'd rather be ignorant. I wish you had an educated me. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. Tell me I'm wrong by saying that we don't need no education. No, you're right. I am. I mean, I am 100% right. Would you mind elaborate on why I'm correct? When you say we don't need no education, you're actually saying that we do need education because you're against the idea of having no education. That's what the song is. You see, people who are ignorant, people who have no education, are more vulnerable to false control. And that is why the problems continue. You see, Daniel? Dang it, Andy! <sighs> I guess you're right. People are ignorant. I wish we lived in a world of peace. 
No more wars. No conflicts. No mistrusting the government. No, no, no worries. Just, just imagine that. I guess I can only imagine it. It will always remain an impossible dream. Well, that's what we need. What do you mean? You see, I know this is gonna sound very corny a little bit, but that's what we need. To people, to dream the impossible dream. You see, if people dream things that seem unreachable, then people will work harder and harder for it. Because if we are educated, if we choose to not be ignorant, we can achieve incredible feats. Because it, we're dreaming the impossible dream, man. To dream the impossible dream. To fight the unbeatable foe. To bear with unbearable sorrow. To run where the brave dare not go To right the unrightable wrong To be better far than you are To try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star This is my quest To follow that star No matter how hopeless No matter how far To be willing to give When there's no more to give To be Yes, yes, you're right. Just thinking about it, we do need to dream that impossible dream. Many would have considered it impossible to have like an international committee dedicated to preserving peace back in imperial times when the whole world was competing for power. I could even go farther back in time, like the 16th century, 17th century, when the institution of slavery seemed something permanent. It seemed impossible that it would ever go away. But there were dreamers throughout those centuries who kept dreaming of the impossible dream. Now you're getting it, Daniel! We as a next generation are under the pressure to learn from our mistakes, stop the ignorance we have by educating ourselves. And so we can create a better world for us. But great things are accomplished when people thrive under pressure. Pressure. 